Hi and welcome to this tutorial. I am going to show you how you can get data from Facebook and send Slack alerts. For example, if one of your ad sets is spending too much money or you just want to get notified if something is performing extremely well uh, or maybe uh, spending over budget. So the example that I'm going to use is this. Uh, we can look at the a tutorial over here. Uh, this is hosted in Colab, so you can just copy this script and replace all of this um, with your own data. So let's first head over to Facebook Graph API Explorer to generate an access token. And of course, uh, for, for that to work, we need a Facebook app. So if you don't have a Facebook app, then check out the linked course uh, in the script above um, on pausing worst performing ads and that will teach you how to create a Facebook app. So we'll either click here on generate access token or we can just copy this token over here, which is what I'm going to do. And there is a possibility to extend your token. So normally it will expire after 60 minutes. That is the default to keep your app and your account safe. But if you know what you're doing, you can go to the debugger tool and paste your token in here. And when you click on debug now, you'll see that this expires in about an hour, but it is possible to extend the access token. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to uh, share this access token with the world, but uh, if you want to use your access token and don't want to refresh it all the time, then you can do that. Just make sure to keep it safe. Cool, so we have our access token. We don't need anything else. I'm just gonna replace the access token over here. And then we need an account ID. So let's head over to our account and just copy it from the URL up here. Now that we have our access token and account ID, what we need to do is just make sure that we actually supply these variables to the script further down below. So I'm just gonna hit run here. This doesn't output anything. It just makes sure that we're using the correct elements. And the next step in the process here is to then go create a Slack app and an, a webhook URL that we can then use to send the message. What I'm going to do now is just show you what the data looks like on Facebook uh, when we get it programmatically. And so what you can see here is that we'll be getting ad set insights. So insights on uh, ad set level, you can see this here. You can also do the same by supplying campaign, account or ad. Um, and you can choose a time frame. I have chosen last year. You may choose today, tomorrow, etc. Sorry, today, uh, yesterday, tomorrow doesn't work, of course. And the fields that we're accessing are just the ad set ID, the ad set name, and the spend. And we want to get basically all the ad sets we have. So we set a limit of 5,000. So we don't have to deal with pagination. And once we get the data, we'll um, actually make it a little bit more readable for our Python script. And then we'll loop through each item in the insights response, and we'll just filter out all of the ones that actually spend more than 500. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, fantastic. So it looks like we have, uh, it looks like we have something going on here. Uh, we printed out the ad set, and there is a spend of more than 79, uh, a spend of 79 euros, um, but we're comparing our spend with a number and this right now still is a string. So let's convert this to a float. Uh, and a float means here that it's a number with decimals. Let's do this again. Okay, fantastic. So it looks like we looped through each item here and we can see that we have this ad set 79, 78, 41. So we would expect only this one for this one ad set to show up. We only have one ad set with uh, 1200 euros. All the others were below 500. And if we do a quick check on uh, in Facebook Ads Manager, um, this is correct, right? So this is exactly the same data that we uh, can see here. We could again look at a different time frame, but this does make sense to me right now. So uh, let's clear this output. We don't really care about it. And what we'll do in the next step is we uh, in the next step of the script is we will iterate through each insight. In this case, it will only be one. We will create. Uh, a nice message that says, hey, this ad set with the name X and ID Y has already spent more than 500 euros. Uh, today, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to put last year. Uh, maybe we'll just 
fix the grammar as well. Spent more than 500 euros last year. So it's not going to be exactly insightful right now, but you can adapt it to the time frame, the level, uh, and, and the metrics that make most sense to you. Cool. Um, but this gives you an idea of how we can create a dynamic message and then send data to a webhook. So now we need to actually get a webhook URL. So let's go back to the top and follow the process here. So what we need to do is create a Slack app and with that generate an incoming webhook. Um, so we can uh, hop over to the official Slack API page and just follow the process. So uh, there are four steps that we need to follow along. So we need to create a Slack app if we don't already have one. So let's go here and create one. I'm just going to create one from scratch. I'm going to call it my amazing Facebook alerting app. And I'm going to choose a, a workspace. So I'm going to choose the kitchen community space. Maybe I'm just going to choose the kitchen IO space. And now I'm going to create the app. Great. Um, so you can see now that we have a new app. It doesn't have a great uh, logo yet. This is our actual uh, app that we use at Kitchen.io. So I'm going to go to incoming webhooks over here. And now I need to switch it on. So I'm going to switch it on. And this is the second step. And the third step is now that we need to add a new webhook to the workspace. So what you can do is you can define a channel where you want to receive these messages. So I'm going to choose um, this one called Simon's Notifications. So this is the channel that I usually use. And I'm going to click Allow. And what I have now is a way for me to programmatically access this channel. Um, so let's copy this URL from over here and go back to the script. So now we need to replace this. And this is important to not share with others. So I'm going to invalidate this uh, in a second. But uh, there is some data in here that you want to keep secretive um, because otherwise right now anybody could be pushing data to this webhook. So um, if you have this webhook URL now, if I didn't invalidate it, you could actually send me messages, uh, anything that you like. So that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. So I'm going to press uh, play one more time. And now this has been run. Um, so the last step really is just to loop through our assets. Again, there should just be one and send a message. And then let's take a look at what it looks like. So the only thing that we need to do now is actually press uh, run. And it looks like uh, Slack replied with OK. Um, so that apparently the message came through. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So what we can see is that, yes, I actually added this channel just now. And we have the amazing Facebook learning app that told me this ad set with this ID actually spent more than 500 euros last year. And so this is already pretty cool. We can now make it a lot better. We can, for example, add a link to the ad set over here. Uh, we can actually run this maybe on today's data or yesterday's data to have something a little bit more uh, relevant. So if you follow this tutorial from top to bottom, you should now have a Facebook app, a Slack app. You should be able to send custom alerts and notifications based on your Facebook ads performance.